Hey y'all, what's up? This is Adam here on our YouTube video today. Now, today's video is going to be about an 11 year old boy who drove three hours to meet a man he met on Snapchat. Now, he eventually ended up driving 300 miles. Uh, he stole his brother's car and his father's tablet. Uh, the tablet eventually lost signal. Um, now, I just don't know if anybody's ever used Snapchat. Uh, the messages eventually disappear um, after they're read unless you save them. Now, why he, the boy didn't, you know, just call the man back, who knows. Uh, thankfully, he didn't do that. Um, he decided to call the police. Um, the police called his father while he was in the process of reporting his son missing. He drove to Charleston to pick him up, which is in South Carolina. Now, I'm not sure where in South Carolina this happened. Uh, the boys from South Carolina, um, like I said, he was in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, 300 miles, uh, it'd probably be near the upstate, somewhere like, you know, Lawrence, um, Spartanburg, somewhere like that. Um, but like I said, luckily the boy didn't get to a man's house. Um, you know, a man, 11 year old boy. You know, you can put, kind of put together the pieces there of what would happen. Um, now, like I said, they are trying to identify the man that the boy was talking to. You know, uh, as far as charges go, I don't really think they can charge him with anything. At least not from what I've read. You know, um, there's nothing to charge him with. Uh, but... You know, hopefully I can identify him, at least, you know, get him on the news so people know what he looks like. But, you know, um, as a parent, you know, you should always try to monitor what your kid to do on the Internet. You know, you would never think that your kid would do something wrong or something illegal or something bad. But there's been plenty of instances of kids talking about doing mass shootings, uh, school shootings. Um, a lot of kids have disappeared due to... This, um, a lot of kids put, uh, images out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then we have instances like this. Um, you know, so as a parent, you know, try to monitor what your kids do, uh, especially at an early age like this. Um, but, you know, let me know you guys in the comments below if y'all agree with me or why. And, like I said, uh, luckily the boy didn't get to the guy's house because, like I said, you can kind of put together the pieces of, you know, what would happen when he got there and after he got there. Um, so luckily he's safe, thankful for that.